GM. Welcome to another speed run video, and um, our rating is rapidly going up. Um, so we've seemed to now we're playing ten minute. We seem to make quite a big leap to twenty one fifty seven rating. I'm not sure how the ratings work, so that's a little bit strange. But we're continuing with these ten minute games. Um, I haven't played any other ones. All my games are on this series online on YouTube. And this is number 29 of the speed run, and uh, we're playing now 2140, and the games are going to get tough. So I'm playing the Sicilian. My opponent's played a bit of a sideline here, and um, I'm just going to play very normally. I'm going to develop my pieces. I want to develop my king side. It feels natural to first play d6, just to stop that pawn coming forwards, so my knight can come here without worrying about that move. And... I want to then think about my bishop. Finchettoing is ideal because the bishop is much better positioned on that square. If I bring it to e7, e6 and e7, it's not as good on that diagonal. It doesn't control the center, but it's more solid. So both of these options available. And I think after this move, I, I, I will... I'm just wondering about knight to g5, but I don't think we have to worry about that. I think I'm just going to go straight away, develop this bishop, and try to get it on the best diagonal I can, this long diagonal, because the center of the board is the most important, so I want to control those squares. So we're both out of theory at a very early stage, and I think this could make the game very interesting, actually, because I'm sure a lot of you watching uh, also get out of the theory at a very, uh, a very early age. Uh, but as long as you follow general principles and watch out for what your opponent's trying to do, you should be okay. Now, this move doesn't really threaten anything and doesn't worry me. Um, so I'm going to continue with my plan, which does threaten to win a pawn. And the other thing I always try to do when someone moves a piece into my half of the board, I, I always consider giving that piece a kick. So I might play h6 next kicking uh, that that bishop away because uh, I don't want that bishop hanging around my, my position and I will probably then try to bring this knight out next so my opponent's developed his knight stopping this threat as well so let's continue by giving that a kick we're going to ask him the question where are you going to move your bishop he has to either keep it on this diagonal or move away and now my knight has this natural square to come to. But there is another idea here. I can play with pawn to this square and put the knight here. Now that is a bit risky because my bishop is very good at the moment and I block it in. So this does seem more natural. My opponent can play d4, but then we'd get a sort of more dragon position. I think I'm going to just play a very sensible move and develop my knight straight away. I don't have to worry about pawn here anymore because I'm covering that one. And my knight might try to come here with the idea of capturing the bishop. So my opponent has castle. Now, if I go here straight away, I'd love to swap this knight off for this bishop. Can my opponent move that bishop anywhere? I mean, also moving the bishop here is very good. Or should I just castle and keep it simple? I'm going to castle for now and, and just get it, keep it simple. My opponent, see, this is a move very good move the kind of move at this level you're going to find more my opponent realizing about my ideas and stopping them so that is like a 2100 idea there um i think at the lower levels we saw that the opposition were only thinking about their own ideas and they weren't stopping things okay so we have to change plans now but it's fine and the next plan i'm going to try to do is look for pawn breaks i'm not worried about this bishop at the moment it doesn't have anywhere on this diagonal i'm just going to leave it there but I am now going to threaten this pawn break and the idea of using that pawn to, to win a piece if I can. So I'm going to try to go d5 and d4. And I, I'm nicely structured everywhere. So I think breaking in the center feels, feels absolutely fine here. Because one of the problems White gets when he places the bishop on this square in the Sicilian, against the Sicilian, is that bishop is certainly a target. So I'm trying to take advantage of that target by hitting it with a pawn break. I could have also considered some knight idea to try and get rid of that bishop, but I'm not so sure about capturing this one and changing the pawn structure like this because my opponent has this open d file. So what else can I do? Well, 
he has played this, okay, and I suppose his idea is to take this pawn here, which I have to admit I didn't I didn't treat seriously enough and I didn't see. Had I seen that, I might have gone B6 last move. Um, so that's a little bit annoying on, on, on my part not to notice this one. Now, if I move my knight back, he's going to take and go knight here. So I must take this one. Do I take with my knight or with my pawn? I think I'm going to take with my pawn because we could have the same position but when knight's on the board or off the board. And I think I'm going to keep the knights on the board just because this knight doesn't seem great. And this knight has the potential still to jump into that square. I'm going to move my rook quickly. And I think this move here, yeah, I should have been more aware of that. It's a good move. And I should have stopped it. But this position is still okay. There's, there's nothing to panic about yet. So he's trying to maybe come in here. Now, if I exchange off, that seems all right for me. But I want to make this position as comfortable as I can. Can I go b6 first and try to get the bishop here? Is there any problems with that? I think I should play this because this is my only piece. And I probably should have done this a while ago. I said I don't need to worry about that bishop, but considering how things have gone, I probably should have. Hindsight's beautiful, isn't it? If only we had hindsight. But the idea of b6 is to, again, kick a piece away in my half, but mainly to give my bishop this square on b7. So I, I one, one thing I don't want to allow is, I don't want to allow this knight to, to, to come in. Okay, my opponent using a lot of tactics here. And he's threatening to take this knight. Now, if I go bishop here, his knight could come in. Now, I could just simply block it. But that does seem a little bit passive. So, a bit to think about here. Do I bring the queen in? And then his bishop doesn't really worry me. Queen in, and then we take here. And then we go rook d1. That seems okay. Okay, so hang on a Let's have a look. Bishop here. Queen moves, and he can take this pawn then. That's a bit annoying. So he's, found, he's finding some nice moves. Bishop d7 is okay, but I want to get my bishop to this diagonal because it's much better there. So, But if I go here, this knight d6 is annoying me there. And I don't see a good response. I could go take. Let's have a look. Takes, takes, queen here. Aha, maybe this is okay. So, bishop here, knight d6, only move I'm worried about. It's getting tactical. I take here, take here, queen b6. And his knight is a little bit funny. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So, I want to put my bishop here. This is the ideal square for, for my bishop because, of course, it's on the diagonal. But tactically, knight here gets a bit complex and if I take he takes here but then I have this queen b6 which I think forces him to take here then after queen takes his knight can come to this square well let's have a look so we're going to do this and it can get around to this square which is still going to be actually probably pretty good for him let's have a look so if he takes takes knight here I say pretty good for him I mean it's okay my pawns are quite weak, aren't they? That's that's the one problem I have in that position. So I'm thinking takes, takes, knight here. Okay, knight here, and then knight here. And this pawn becomes weak. But I can play this move and get rid of it and open up my bishop. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm going to move my queen out of the way where it can't get attacked by knight here. And I'm looking at playing e4, um, most probably to get rid of that pawn Let's do it because we're running a bit short of time and to open up my, my bishop at the same time. So we'll quickly grab that one. And we got an equal material. This pawn's a little bit weak. It's probably a bit of probably roughly even this position, uh, I would say. Okay, he's playing quickly. Now I'm gonna go here and try to get rid of that knight. That knight to me looks like his strongest piece. So I'm just gonna try to exchange this guy off. Uh, and then I'll be quite happy because my bishop seems to be much better than the other knight. So I'm happy to exchange off pieces. And again, he's moving quickly, but I must now have an advantage. So we could start 
targeting this one. My queen is a bit of a target to his rook. So let's let's try to gain a little tempo, attack that one. I'm going to pick up the pace. Remember, it is only a 10-minute game. Cool. If I was playing 5-minute again, <laughs> I'd be in a lot of trouble. And I feel like I have a slight edge here. Now we can take over the open file. What rook do I move? Well, this rook might be wanted on the B file. So I'm going to take over the rook, take over the file with this other rook. And here I could consider, um, well, his idea is maybe rook here takes, takes, and if I take here, this rook's on pre. So let's just move this rook so it finds a useful file attacking that pawn. Then maybe at some point this tactic Okay, so he's trying to come into this square. Plays very quickly, this guy. And he's trying to get his knight back around here. That's a nice idea from him again. So that knight is very well positioned on this square. So do we have to exchange off and go for this ending where I have control of the open file? Let's try this. So we're going to get a pure ending. My pawn structure is worse than his. This is a bit weak. But I do have the open file. So roughly even, I expect, is a fair uh, assessment of this one and we can't drop that pawn so let's defend that one and I'd like to get the Queens off but it's quite hard to do that Queen d3 I'd like to play but then this pawn drops and I also have to worry about this check I therefore maybe I move this pawn but then this pawn drops so next what if I use this pawn okay now that looks like a dubious move to me I don't think he should be making moves like this when the Queens are on the board that that is a move that you would not see a title player make okay so anyway uh, the game goes on so he's found another decent move let's just centralize the Queen a little bit more and next maybe I should even triple up on the open file that's my main advantage okay well now I can try to exchange Queens I was hoping to induce this move off him which I felt must help me okay now he's keeping Queens on the board so let's triple up if we can now he can go Rook D1 and I'm gonna get two Rooks for the Queen which might be alright for him because he has this check and my pawns are weak and he has played it He's playing some good moves in this game. Okay, so we're going to go for this. I think had he not played this, he'd be in a lot of trouble. I don't know why he's thinking here. Thinking in this position. Very strange. And now this one is a pawn I don't really want to lose. Um, so if I play here, I stop his queen coming in. It's a bit of a, I don't know, this position is quite dangerous for both of us. If I can get my rooks connected, working, I should be all right. And now he's coming in here and he's going to win a pawn, which is quite annoying. Uh, is there any way I can, def okay, I can try this. Oh no, my other rook's on pre. Yeah, I've got to go here. And his queen is coming in. Like I say, he's playing very, very well. If his queen comes in, can we try targeting this one? Well, Rook here, this pawn drops. I kind of want to keep this pawn, but he could be winning all my pawns on the queen side, so I need to get some action on the other area of the board. Okay, this one also wins a pawn, similar way, similar manner. So let's give that pawn up and hope we get enough counterplay. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need to try and start targeting his king but then my king it's going to be a draw okay i'm going to give my king an escape square i don't like this position he's played it very very well and um, the way he's done this some very good moves and he can just simply take another pawn if he wants to uh, and he has done now now the only way i can try and do something is get to his king or create some opportunities with my rooks but i can't see how i'm going to use my rooks at the moment so do I bring both my rooks to the back rank? Maybe we should start to do that. And like I mentioned, try to create some opportunities against his king. His pawns are coming. So my idea is this one and then we come around. So let's go for it. So at least this way we should guarantee ourselves a draw, which is obviously not ideal. 
But let's flick this check in, first of all, see where he's going to go with the king. Now, if he comes up, my idea would be to check here. I've got to watch out for the check over here, though. This would be most unfortunate. So, any way to avoid that? Okay, well, I can try to put my king here. Obviously, very risky. This check taking the pawn doesn't help because... I would have lost the rook there. So I'm going to play this quite risky idea when he can probably take this pawn at the same time. And that pawn is important. So yeah, I'm really not liking the way I played this guy. So I played this pretty badly. Uh, you know, okay, well now I could have played this much better, definitely. Do I check here first? I think, or do I defend? Like so. Mm, not nice. His pawns are too quick. Can't see anything else. Been outplayed at this stage of the game. Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing, Simon. <laughs> we'll have a look afterwards at the moves I went wrong. Uh, and this queen has caused so many difficulties to me. Could be my first loss. Um, as soon as I moved up a level. I have to treat these guys a bit more seriously. So I'm playing here because I really don't want to lose this pawn. And now he is just pushing. Okay, well, let's give him a check. I need to try something here, but it's going to be very, very slow. Now, here, this nearly works, but he's got queen takes, so it doesn't quite work. So I'm going to grab one pawn, but my rook is going to get pushed away with a move such as this. My king, I think, is all right. I say I think because I'm not sure. And now I can't go passive. That would be horrendous. So we have to try and go active. Yep, I'm going to lose a pawn, but I've got to keep some ideas with the rook alive. Try to keep some chances with that rook. If I get, you know, the general idea is to get both rooks behind a pawn and you pick the pawns off. But I'm not going to have many pawns left, am I? So, okay, well, we have to get behind that pawn. Make sure I don't fall for a check on a dart square, which will ring, win this rook. So we come here for now with the idea of trying to get behind it and grabbing this one and then hopefully the other one. But I'm very, it's very likely I'm going to lose my pawns as well. Okay, we will grab that one. Can't see any other way to play this. Now this is very nearly checkmate. He's got this check. He's going to win my pawns. I think this is probably losing for me. Got to come here. Not much else I can do. And I've got to come behind this pawn. What else can I play here? Now, can he pick up my rook with a check? He can. And this is the winning idea. That was very bad play for me. Disappointing game. We'll have to try another one after that and put another video up. But not happy the way I played that uh, at all. And this is also clearly winning. Okay, he's gone this way. I don't know if he wants a draw, but a bit strange that he didn't go for that immediate win. Okay, and he's picked up a rook this way. So this is clearly winning as well. Okay, or this way. He's finding that. I mean, that one is... He didn't just take that one, but it was losing all along. Okay, let's just have a look at that on uh, the game review. See, see uh, our accuracy levels. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just have a bad game, don't you? And that was a bad game. I mean, my opponent played pretty well, I think, but I did not play great at all. Um, and you can see many mistakes from me, many inaccuracies. So, well, just, just generally disappointing. Uh, and if we go back to where... Maybe I could have improved. Well, after e6, he did play e5. And the computer didn't like this, actually. And it thinks I should go knight e8, which is a bit surprising. I'll take just b6. Okay. Anyway, well played to my opponent. Um, I better get another video up now and see if I can improve on that. First loss. And uh, obviously I did it because I've got to keep my rating in this range for a little bit. So I need to lose a game, but I can't throw a game. So, you know, that was, you know, that's why I lost obviously, right? Do like, do subscribe. I'll get another game up now. Mm -hmm.